I'm uh, Ana Lopez Arechiga. I'm the Director of Programming and Engagement at Keshet Dance and Center for the Arts. My name is Dennis Gromelski. I am the Executive Director and Co-Founder of Fusion. My name is Shauna Osborne and I am uh, the Executive Director of Puja Hivea. I am Annie Doratio and I work for the National Institute of Flamenco. I am the Operations Director there currently. My full name is Loida Maritza Perez. I go by Maritza. I am the founder and executive director of Afromundo. Kasha is a dance organization. We're clearly rooted in dance and a mentorship. And uh, we really strive to create a welcoming space for the arts. Fusion was created with the idea that we would provide economic opportunity for professional artists. From day one when we opened our doors, it was all about getting artists paid. Some type of, of uh, remuneration worthy of the work that they were doing. And, um, and we have been New Mexico's professional theater company for 22 years now. We focus on indigenous Indigenous um, creatives, professionals, and uh, academics and scholars. We've been able to do a lot of work um, around creative writing um, with different um, native organizations and with different tribes. The Institute has been in operation for over 40 years, and I'm very proud to work for the Institute as it's an organization that has a very strong local, national, and international reach and provides incredible flamenco performance and education and touches a lot of people's lives around the world. To summarize what the organization is about, narratives are foundational to every aspect of our lives. There are too many narratives that go unheard or that are silenced or marginalized and Afromundo's goal is to bring those narratives forward through art and humanities programs, multidisciplinary, um, and not just through presenters, but giving audiences a chance to engage in the narrative. It's really, really important for us to make sure that artists can have sustainable work and that they can do their work in a way that is taken seriously and treated with dignity. And part of that is ensuring that artists have funding and time to do what they do. The idea of the entire Resiliency Residency Project was absolutely brilliant and one that has long been needed in this town. Working with the UT UETF on uh, the Resiliency Residency has been amazing. I am a big proponent of um, giving artists the funds they need to do their work. And if, you know, if nothing else, I think the pandemic has shown us not only how important artists are in our daily lives and in times of crisis, but also how important it is to keep them uh, funded and available to do the work that they're doing. Really cool part about this, this residency is that the artists are in full control of it. So um, from their proposal to how they wanna approach it to what the final product is. So it's been really nice to give them that independence. It was really exciting when the Urban Enhancement Project came up and it's so important to support burgeoning artists. To get money in the hands of um, individual artists means that you are recognizing those artists for what they do. We fully expect to continue fiscally sponsoring a bunch of these artists and other projects that they have. So it's really this in incredible um, introduction people coming out of their silos of COVID to each other. The, the fact that there were 90 artists that, that were able to take part and be grantees in this project, boom, what energy citywide. I mean, you know, how do you create that other than with a program like this? It's been a fabulous catalyst for some of these artists uh, to really have that trust and support from the city and, and, and from a community that is telling them, yes, we believe in the work you're doing. I think Albuquerque as a city is very supportive of the arts and that's, um, I think that's continuing to grow and I want to see that continue to grow and I want to be uh, kind of a, 
a steward or a facilitator of that process. Art is such a big industry in New Mexico and it brings in income, it brings in tourists, et cetera. Um, it needs to continue thriving because artists contribute so much to, to the state. We have to make ways for artists to be able to make a living. Our hopes are fully, fully, fully that not only this program continues because I think this has been a proving ground and it's really important to show the quality of work that has been happening during the period uh, of the grant. Also to expand it, you know, how do we leverage uh, what we've done here against national monies from other foundations and the wider that we can expand the reach and the breadth of the projects through this program, the more of an impact that it can have on our city as a whole. I, I hope this, this Urban Enhancement Trust Fund grant is a really, really good step towards getting more of a foothold for the arts. And then I, I think um, with the interest of the arts community and the greater community at large, I think the funding will follow. Money is important because it helps you to do what you're doing, but what it really does is it is it um, it, it provides a sense of of importance for the work that you're doing to be recognized for that in such a way and be able to, to be able to do that under the banner of the the city of Albuquerque is really a cool thing to be recognized by your hometown. You know, that's, it's awesome.